Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have a special episode for you today. Our friends over at Alagoo sent me two bottles of resin. One is a water wash black, and the other one is a water wash clear blue. And I've got a plan that I don't think I've seen anybody else do. Our friend Oliver from Olivizzle on Cults 3D sent me the files to make a Bach mono. And it's a one-seater super car, blah, 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 blah. Really neat. Neat little car. Um, and I thought that I would do the body in the clear blue and all of the chassis pieces in black. Let's put it in the slicer and uh, we'll set it all up. With any new resin, you have to run a calibration test. And I ran this at 2.4 seconds, um, 30 at 0 .030, 0, and uh, everything came out right. Looking at it real close, it looks like everything printed, everything's nice and crisp. So yeah, I think that uh, 2.4 seconds, I think we're okay. So this is the clear blue resin. You can sort of see it's not absolutely transparent blue, but it's, uh, it's cool. It's cool. And I think this will look really cool in a body. Okay, I'm in the Bachmano uh, folder, and we'll sort of go through... This is the body, and it's got some supports already on the bottom of it, which this is the one that I'm going to go with. So I'm going to drag that over to the slicer. No, it's not oversized. Blah, blah, blah. And also, I want to do... So this is a two-piece barrel wheel. So I'm going to put that over here, too. Okay, so now we got the body here. It's upside down. So we're going to rotate it. Actually, it's on the wheel now. We're going to rotate this. We're going to try and get it as flat as we can before we start um, putting an angle on it. All right, so we'll put it at a tilt. Actually, I'm going to stand it straight up, and I'll explain why in a second. Since this is a clear blue resin, I want to try and minimize the support marks on the bottom of this body. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it almost straight up, but I also don't want a bunch of supports along this edge here. So I'm going to give it a little bit of tilt. And I'm going to put the majority of the supports all the way across the bottom of the body here. And then a few here to support. Kind of get it? It's, it's almost at 45 degrees there. I'm, I'm sorry, it's almost at 90 degrees. And then for the wheelbarrows, we want... that part up and we'll put it at a bit of an angle so we don't get any print lines on it. Make a copy, three more of them. Okay, so these are the only pieces that I want in clear blue is the, the four wheel barrels and um, the body. So we're gonna select them all our auto support um, just so you can sort of see our tip dimension at 0 0.021 that makes for a skinny tip I'm using lights no raft um, touch tip 4 and support angle 45 so come down and do auto support and we'll see what it looks like all right so for the bottom of the body it looks like we're right on the edge right on this edge here, which is fine. We're nothing on the bottom of the body at all. We're along this edge, which is fine. I wanna try and minimize the marks on the bottom of the body. So yeah, just along the edges is fine. So we're looking, yeah, it looks like we're in good shape. Let me zoom out a little bit. And the only thing that's really going to be affected is this 
part right here. So we're going to have a few little, you know, dimple marks here along this wing piece, but not a big deal. I think this is good. Um, as far as the wheels are concerned, we're just around the outside edge. You know, nothing's going to be on the, the pretty side. We'll go to the slice settings here. And check our resin. Okay, we're going to print it at 0 0.03, five layer count, uh, exposure time of 2.4. That's what I did the test print at, 30 second exposure time. Transitional layer five, linear resting time. I do have a small resting time of 0.6 seconds. Um, before lift and after retract. Otherwise, it's uh, three, three millimeters up, 3.2, oh, I'm sorry, bottom lift distance, three, and then for the each individual layer, I have 3.2. Um, no, let's put some anti-aliasing on, and we'll go four. It and we'll slice it. Okay, so this is going to take seven hours and 23 minutes, mainly because the the unit is stood up on its side, but that's okay because it's 7:30 at night. I'll do it. In, I'll get it in the morning. So let it run all night. We'll save the file. Perfect. Look at that absolutely transparent and that's because it's covered in a layer of resin still so when i wash it some of those uh that resin layer is going to come off and it won't be that transparent Not bad, it comes right off. Okay, now let's add all the rest of the pieces from it. All right, now that we got all the parts, let's drag it all 29 pieces on at the same time here. I don't know if I can make all this fit. <laughs> I may have to do two, especially if we're going to do four wheels and tires. And I'm going to need four wheel centers. Tell you what, we're going to do a select all auto layout and see if we can get them all on at the same time. It wants to do everything except for the chassis. So I'm going to do some playing around and see if I can get everything on there at the same time. All right, so I was able to rearrange all of the parts onto the base plate. And now I'm going to angle everything. But I wanted to just make sure that everything fit first. So I'll be right back and I'll have everything angled. Okay, now that I have everything angled, I'll go ahead and select everything. Go to my supports and auto support it. Okay, a few things went off the plate, so we will go back and fix those, move things around a little bit more, tighten them up a little bit. Yes, this is time consuming and crazy, but this is what we gotta do. But we're not done yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, go back to our supports, and we're going to check to make sure that the small items have more than enough supports on them. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over for the bottom, and I'm going to look at each piece to make sure that Things like these mirrors, see they have enough 
supports on them. Tires have plenty. Here we go. This little gas cap right here has one support on it. So we're going to put two more on it just to make sure that it prints out and it doesn't get lost on the build plate. Okay, that looks like everything. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I will back to here. We'll check our slice settings, which haven't changed. We're still at 0 0.030, 0 5, 2.4. Yeah, everything's the same. And we'll slice it. And it's going to say, but it exceeds the model platform. Yeah, we know. Okay, for the black pieces, it's going to be 5 hours and 1 minute, 31 seconds. Not bad. Shit. Well, looks like we had some failure here in this corner. But it looks like everything else printed okay. So I'm going to have to redo this chassis piece and whatever was right there. Well, that's it. I don't have enough resin left to uh, try it again. So I'll salvage these pieces that did print and uh, just call it done. All right, well, here is the finished Bakamano printed. Um, I did have to reprint this in white smoke resin because the black failed many, many times. But anyways, um, so this is our full chassis. The front system front suspension is molded in to this piece. The bottom is flat with some diffusers. The clear blue body is gorgeous. I removed, I actually, I have one still on the stands here. And there's cross braces that come through here to hold everything steady. So when I remove those pieces, I'll have to do a little sanding, and hopefully I don't distort the clear. I mean, it's not like transparent clear, but it's it's really kind of a neat thing to look at. The wheels, or the barrels, with the black centers, you can see that the actual texture in the black, it kind of looks like carbon fiber tires have nice Michelin branding on them and with the black resin it's almost ready to go it, it that kind of looks like a tire to me it doesn't uh, it has just a bit of a sheen to it maybe I'll put a semi gloss on the wheel center and sort of leave it as is the shocks I'm real close here. You can see that there's little uh, reservoirs in them. Cam detail. Engine block. Real fine, fine detail. Actually, it looks like I need to clean that up a little bit more. Yeah, real fine detail in here. head cover. It's for the spark plugs right there on the top. The brakes are awesome. Look at these things. Cross drilled. Nice caliper. Get our brake lights. Look at these pedals. Let's see if I can zoom in enough. There's actual texture on the pedals themselves. We have uh, cams and rods detail. Yeah, real nice. Radiators.
Here's our exhaust system. Here's our front projector lights. Very nice. This is our rear wing with our brake lights. This kind of looks like carbon fiber too. Got just a slight pattern to it. Here's our seat. Rear suspension with the transmission. Comes in two pieces. Um, one side has a pin, one side has a hole, and put them together. Slight gap there, so maybe I'll just have to block sand it a little bit. Fit is good. So let's sort of mock this thing up. So Oliver had suggested to do the back end and the engine first. So you have to sort of bend these things around a little bit to uh, get them in place. Okay, once we get the transmission in, engine just drops right in place. We have an exhaust system here. And then we put our cam cover in here. We have our seat. Some pedal box here. There's front shocks. There's a little hole here for them. And then we're ready to put, drop the chassis, or the body onto the chassis. There's two mounting pins here and here. And they'll slide underneath the front fenders. Now granted, none of this is glued, so it's, it's gonna pop and move and stuff. And it fits just like that. straight and then this rear piece here slides into the exhaust spread this part a little bit rear wing Could just kind of mock it up here a little bit Yeah, that's a cool little car. And here is my vision for the project. This is in golf blue, so I thought I would use the clear body. The orange, I can paint. Um, this has orange wheels, but I'm gonna use the clear blue wheels. So yeah, it's a neat, neat car. And I think it's gonna be perfect for the project. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You still here? Go ahead and order yourself a t-shirt, hit the subscribe button, and watch the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.